What's up guys, Seven here back again with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Violet. Last episode, uh, a few months have passed in school that we didn't get to see, and now we are all, we're finally able to traverse the Paldea region and do our own thing. So we have three choices of what we could do, uh, the Pokemon Gym League Challenge, uh, looking for Titan Pokemon, or uh, defeating and taking care of the Team Star um, Team Star guys that's running around Paldea. So the first thing I really want to do is take care of Team Star. So we're going to do Operation Starfall first. And off screen uh, that you saw before video, uh, here's what my team looks like. And Dewey evolved. He is no longer a Quaxel. He is now a Quaxwell. Or he's no longer a Quaxy. He's a Quaxwell. Um. His form? Eh, I'm digging it. I can't wait to see what its like final evolution is, but that'll probably be in the 30s. Uh, found out off screen that uh, Pumba, uh, Shroom, uh, Shroomsworth, and Rebecca will evolve around level 18. Uh, I didn't look up what these guys evolve at, but I'm going to guess it's going to be around that area. So, without further ado, go ahead and get on Maridon, and let's keep making our way towards... For our next gym battle, not gym battle, our next objective is going to be, since I did set where we're going to go. Uh, I didn't fight you. You look hardy. Let's take you on. Da -da -da, that's the sound of healing up at the Pokemon Center. As always, guys, if you're liking this playthrough, please let me know what you think about in the comment section below. And we were challenged by Alicia the Magician. Musician. Why did I say magician? I also did catch some more Pokemon off screen too. I caught all the Pokemon in this area, plus I was able to catch a uh, uh, Terrestrialize Jigglypuff. And the way to uh, catch them isn't too difficult. You just gotta keep on fighting them until you break through their uh, Terrestrialization and then you're able to catch them. Uh, let's see one more covert covet, and that'll probably be enough to knock you out. And I think this is the only Pokemon she has, so she's already done for. It definitely is. Guess I gotta go for another round of healing. Oh, she had a lot of money. I should also mention, if I press the right thing, I did finally take care of my uh, trainer card. I don't know why it's not letting me bring it up now. Keep doing that. What? Oh, okay. There we go. Profile. Duh. So here you go. This is my new trader card profile picture. I took it after... Uh, I wanted to do it before Quaxley evolved. So I can have one of it as a baby. But I, I forgot to. Instead, I did this one. I think it looks really cool, so I'm enjoying it. Uh, let's talk to you. You'll probably give us um, something for battling a certain amount of people on this route. So I gotta defeat three more trainers on this route in order to get a prize from him. I don't really need any healing, so we'll ignore that. And yeah, so, oh, oh my god, a gulp in. I want that. I'm not gonna use it, but I need it for my Pokedex. I also changed my uniform back, but I think I did that in the last video, so I don't think that's anything different. Uh, I did go looking around the city to see if there was any um, clothing stores, but it was more like accessories, not so much like outfits, so nothing really useful. Let's use Covet. See if that does a little more damage. You t there's no point, you already used it, and I'm probably going to fall asleep the next turn. Which does not matter to me anymore, because it'll be enough to capture you. The only downside to me doing this one, like this particular operation first, like in level up my Pokemon, I do need gym badges in order for stronger Pokemon to obey me, and that's going to be an issue. Mainly because it seems that like um, when they're like level 20 and higher, they might not listen to me. So at some point, if I like, you know, separate, you know, I'll label the videos so you know what I'm doing. So. Yeah, at one point, I need to stop and go take care of like a gym or two so I can be able to catch more stronger Pokemon 
I'll do that just so we can keep everything nice and organized and flowing. So I'll label like what the videos are like uh, Operation Starfall, Gym Leader or Gym, yeah, Pokemon League Gym Leader, whatever it's called. Uh, I want to name you Gallo. And you can go to the box. And I love those fancy covers. Oh, who's calling me now? Hey, Tevin! So, from what I can gather, the Stony Cliff Titan likes to lurk somewhere in this rocky area. I had to look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way up high on a cliff or something. Nah, that's impossible. I don't think it'll be hiding somewhere that tricky, so don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to search it out somewhere too strange. Maybe just give your map uh, your map app a look if you're feeling stumped. It's pretty handy. Thank you, but I am not doing that. I'm heading towards Team Starfall. I'm sorry, Team Star. I'm doing Outbreak Starfall. Battle me, for I am mighty. I do need more experience, because the sooner I can get these guys to evolve, the better. You are nothing but father to me to train up my team. Uh, Severino? Is that what your name was? The office worker? Of course you have a Jigglypuff. But you're no match for Pumba. Uh, oh, that's right, you're still asleep. I forgot about that. Uh, I know I have Awakening. Wake up! Although, if you have Sing, that's that's kind of a waste of my time then. Okay, good, you're not using it. Hopefully you don't know it. I never got the move Stockpile, Swallow, and Spit Up. Well, never mind. I, I do get it, the gist of it. Just that, like, it's kind of... It seems weird to me, honestly. Like, you waste your turn, like, you know, building up uh, stuff in your stomach that you can either swallow to regain a amount, certain amount of health or spit it up to do a certain amount of damage. It just seems like by that time, they'll already be, like, doing enough damage to, like, knock you out depending on how long you tend on, like, doing it. But it's like, it's like, eh, what, how, how to work this? It's a lot like Bide in that sense, and where I, I'm not too big on it, like, wasting my time to, like, see, now since you swallowed, you want to heal up his HP a little bit. Never mind, that's a lot. Oh, the defense goes down. Yeah, no, definitely not. If only I had, like, a Pokemon that had a fighting type move on it, that, this is going to take a bit if I do it your way. Instead, I'm going to have Quaxwell come out. I'm sorry, I'm going to have Dewey come out and take you out a little bit faster, because this is going to be his debut battle since he evolved. And it seems like they're more so like, well, this uh, evolution line is more so like, um, somewhat of a dancer. So it's a lot like Poplio. I'll use a wing attack. That wasn't as bad. Is that stockpile too now? Yeah. I swear to god, if you swallow this... Uh, use water gun. Same type attack bonus. Which does nothing. Are you- You know what? I think I just got the joke of it. Like, he's an office worker and he's using this, like, stockpile. At least that's what I think the joke is. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thank you. It's I'm glad you finally stopped using that. This battle is going on too, far too long. And now I'm debating whether or not I keep it in or not. Just because you're taking forever. Because you want to do all this extra stuff to me. Because we need to start making some progress, baby. And you are slowing me down. Please don't have any more Pokemon. Oh, sweet. Puma only needs one more level. Who wants to learn Dig? Oh, Puma does. Uh, yeah, sure. Give it a Tail Whip. I never use that anyway.
And if Fifi wants to learn Play Rough, that is a much better fairy type move. Uh, give it a lick. It's a dumb move anyway. Uh, I do not remember what that book was. Yeah, let's have Puma come out. We want you to get the primary amount of experience from this so you can hurry up and evolve. So I can like, work on the other ones too. Did you get fully healed when you leveled up? Huh. I didn't think that happened, because you definitely took some damage. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I switched out, because I did not want to... What was that? What was that? Oh, did I take its held item? Oh. Ho, ho, ho. I forgot that's what Covet did. Nice. Um... Dig won't be super effective. Let's use Disarming Voice. Taking a lot of damage from the Skidoo, though. And I'm not dealing a whole lot, which is unfortunate. Uh, instead, I want to switch you out again. This time... Let's have... Poison does a lot of damage against grass types, so I'll switch you out from Mouser instead. And focus on using my poison type moves. I never looked at what level this one evolves at. Very curious now that I see it. There we go, that's why I like it. And we got it poisoned. Even better. Badly poisoned. Don't don't try to use that now. That ain't gonna help you. You should be praying. Cause he about to be seeing the maker, my son. One more. Okay, so hopefully that's his last Pokemon. I never pay attention to how many they have, and it doesn't show you anymore. Or maybe it was, and I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, my mind and my items meant nothing in the face of your mighty trader like you. Oh, that's a lot of money, too. Oh, there doesn't look like any new Pokemon up here. Do any of you really need to get hit? Hmm. Oh, you know, I think it was leftovers. What the f are you? Uh. What the heck is with that battle cry? A cloth? Uh, is he's tackle? <laughs> oh my god. This thing looks interesting. It looks like a wild crabby. Alright, Puma's about to faint. You look like a rock type. Um. Yeah, let's have Dewey come back out. Because I don't want you to get knocked out. I still want to try to capture you. But I don't want to one-shot you. Ugh. I'm sure I'll run into it again, even if I accidentally knock it out. Okay, good. Alright, let's throw a Pokeball. Yes. And, oh my god, this camera angle. See, Dewey wants to learn low sweep. Yes. I do need a fighting type move. Get rid of double hit. Because I never use that anyway. I thought I was going to, but I didn't. And Mouser wants to learn flatter. Nope. Alright, so Cloth. This Pokemon lives on sheer cliffs. It sidesteps opponents' attacks, then lunges for their weak spots with its claws. Yes, I will give you a name. You'll just be Claw. 
And this name is very reminiscent to uh, one of the bosses in Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. I want to send you to the box just because I already have someone I'm using right now. Even though you look pretty damn cool, once I like get one of them like fully evolved, I'll probably switch out for maybe you. You look like another trainer, and I'm really trying to get somewhere. Right, let's do that. I can come back here later. Our primary objective should be getting to where we need to go and dealing our first blow to Team Star and taking out one of their five bases. I keep forgetting that I can actually ride you like a motorcycle. Uh, this wouldn't be it, would it? Nah, it should be in town. But I will help myself to this. Ignoring that Pokeball for now. I know this moves like a little bit faster than me running, but not by a whole lot. Good, I got a Paralyzed Heal. I wish there was like a boost button so like I can like, you know, really start zooming. Press B, you can jump like they mentioned before. Ignore you guys. Take that. Thankfully, like, you could just fall down cliffs. You don't need to, like, walk all the way around. No, I got sidetracked. Ooh, an Ultra Ball. I'm very partial to, like, keeping my Pokeballs, like, uniform and trying to catch everything in, like, regular Pokeballs. No, I didn't want to fight you. Oh, I stay on my bike if I'm staying on my ride on it. <laughs> I have to run into you when I'm doing that. Let's use this armor voice. And Pumba's knocked out. That's just perfect. Can I run? I'm not really like trying to capture you right now. I'll do that off screen because I do not have the time or patience right now. Same thing with like fighting all those dudes. I think we were coming up to a Pokemon Center. I just gotta keep going along this pathway though. Yeah, since none of these trainers are really required, I'm gonna take care of them off screen just so I can keep progress in these videos as maximized as possible. So we're not constantly having to worry about. Oh, okay, no, I know what you are. You're from Sun and Moon. And I think that's a Minchino? That's what it looks like at least. No, not quite. Sorry, get off. Where in the world are you? Oh, they're a pair? A tender mouse? Alright, that's it. Um, since we're already doing it, let's just go ahead and catch it. It's kind of rare to see, like, Pokemon that makes it like better like two different forms or like two different entities in one form like you know Diglett, um, Magnemite, and various others but I didn't think they would do it for like two mouse but let's see exactly what this is because this this got me thinking see, ten, the couple Pokemon the pair sticks together no matter what. They split any food they find exactly in half and then eat it together. Um, and they don't have a gender since there's like, you know, both of them. I will name you. Tim. Okay, I, oh, okay, it got rid of the whole thing. I'll, I'll rename it later, but. I was going to name it Tim and Tina. T and T. I can just name them that. That's a lot easier. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I'm definitely catching some Pokemon off screen. But we made it to... Hmm. 
Artisan. Can't wait for the show to come out so I can actually see how to actually pronounce these names properly. I'm gonna go up heal up since I really need it. And we'll start looking around to see where we need to go exactly to start dealing with Team Star. And I'll go back, catch some Pokemon off screen, and deal with those other trainers that I skipped over. Oh, I guess her tip was telling us about like the adventure guide. Uh, how you like in case like you stop playing for a while you can always go back and see what everything is and this is quite the town oh and it has a gym in it too but that wasn't the main focus of, well just getting to the town is good enough but I can like make a separate video for like when we're going to deal with them and when we're dealing with team star but yeah, that's the building the gyms look like that Nimona said. But my objective should be more so over this way, I believe. Let's see. Oh, there's also the Titan of Pokemon over there too. Hmm. I can probably reach them, but I, it looks like I'm going to have to go around. So we'll probably have to do that. But this was a good stopping point. That way I can at least get my bearings, uh, take some time to heal up, and I'll catch some more Pokemon off screen. And then do like a little split off where one, I go and deal with one of the gym leaders, and then the other, I go and deal with Team Star. Try to do this as effective as possible. Alright, so with that... I think this would be a good place to end off the video. It looks like you're a grass type trader anyway, too. So yeah, this would be a good place for me to leave off. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Violet. In the next episode, I'm going to probably be over at the Team Starfall, Team Stars base. I keep calling them Team Starfall, which sounds a lot better, but that's not their name. And we'll start dealing with the first part of Team Star. I'll come back over here and deal with this gym if. I have like the right levels for it because I don't know what order they're going in since they're really letting us go wherever. There might be some caveats to like how strong they might be or if they scale them in level to where, like, where you should be. Maybe. That might be too complicated. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, uh, thank you guys for watching and if you guys liked the video, give the video a like, leave a comment, all those good things you're going to say at the end of these episodes and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, take care everyone.